Hi YouTube, I'm Aymon, and welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and install the alternator for a 2003 Honda Accord, or it's the same for a 2004 to 2007, 2007 Honda Accord. So the process is very simple and easy. There are a few bolts to take out, but the first step is taking out the belt. Taking out the belt is really easy, uh, we've already done a video on it, so check it out if you want. But it's really easy, so just take this uh, specialized tool, a number 14 socket, Put on the tensioner, which is this smaller pulley right here. Pull down all the way and flip the belt off. So flip it off right from here. So that's it. Now we can just flip the belt off. Remember to like make a mental note of the diagram, uh, at least like the belt, so that you can, when you put it back on, you can remember where to put everything. Or you can just look at the diagram. Usually it should be on the roof. Uh, but we don't have it so and usually they have an online diagram so you can always refer to that as well all right so now that you've removed the belt this is what's supposed to look like uh, we have actually moved to a different car this is a 2004 honda accord and we've removed the radiator now uh, you don't have to remove the radiator but it helps you see what you're doing uh, also the car is jacked up but you don't it doesn't need to be jacked up all right let me just clarify um, you don't actually have to remove the radiator we just did it for a different purpose um, thankfully, we did. We removed it, and you can now see what we're supposed to do. So, getting to the process, first we can just take this out, this plug, and then after that, there are four bolts to take off. First, there are the three main ones: this one right here, and two down here, this one, and this one. And then after that, on the side are is sorry if you can't see it is this bolt right here. So. This pole right here, it's much more easier to take it off after you've taken these three off. To make our job easier, we're going to move the power steering fluid reservoir. We're going to pull it out and move it off to the side. The next step is to take the bolts out, and for that we're going to use our Milwaukee, our handy dandy Milwaukee cordless ratchet. If you don't have a Milwaukee cordless ratchet, you can always just use a uh, ratchet wrench. But for this job, we're just going to use the Milwaukee, since we've always used it. And it's a very long bolt, but it comes out just like that. So I'll just lay that down here. And I think we can get that from down here. Yep. This is a very handy tool too. Since if it, if it doesn't work by itself, you can always just twist it manually. And I like that feature. Right, for this final bolt, uh, once we take it out, we might have to hold the alternator in place. It might move a bit, but I don't know. So I'm just try to support this alternator. I'm trying to manually twist it. <laughs> okay, so you saw it move just now. Alright, so it's gonna wiggle once I take it out. There we go. After that, you can just rest the alternator down here. So the next step is to, to take out the ground bolt. So earlier we used a 12 socket. This one is a 10 socket. So slide the t cap off and try to angle it on. Does it go deeper? Next step is to take a set of needle nose pliers and remove this cable by prying it out. Uh, it might have already been removed uh, during moving the alternator. Uh, next step is to try to wiggle it out from underneath. However, looking at this car, removing it from the bottom <laughs> is definitely not possible. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to show you how to remove it from the top. So in order to do that, we must first remove this uh, hose. This is for the power steering. and we we must remove this hose that is connected to the engine. And then after that, we should be able to remove it by putting, pulling this hose back. This is for the AC. All right, so next step is to put an old rag or a shirt underneath so it stops any, uh, collects any oils. And then you wanna take plier, this one here. You wanna loosen the clamp. You wanna be really careful with it. Put it down 
here. And then you wanna just wiggle the hose down. So after that, you wanna stop the hose from leaking. There are many ways to do that. So I'm gonna show you one of these ways. So you wanna take a piece of rubber, you wanna put it on top, and you wanna take a rubber band and tie it around. There we go. There are a few other ways. Uh, for one, you could stuff the uh, hose to make sure nothing leaks out. Uh, and if you're gonna do that, you might wanna use a clean wooden dowel. Make sure it's clean so that uh, nothing dirty gets into the hose. And the other way is that if you don't have a rubber band, you could just do the first method that we showed you. But instead of the rubber band, we you use the clamp. Uh, however, that may be a bit dangerous uh, because the clamp might just spring out of your hand and you might lose it. Next is the hose leading to the engine, and for that, it also has a clamp that we just need to loosen. It's right here, if you can see it. So just take your pliers, loosen it, move it all the way up. And then just finagle, or as I like to say, jingle jingle it out. After that, we should be able to take it out. Just push this back, and oops, try to... Let me get a good hold of it. Just try to pull this back, and it's coming out. Hey, nice! I didn't I didn't think I would be able to do it, but uh, I got it out. <laughs> Easier than I expected, actually. All right. So after installation, it's the same process, just reversed. So just put the alternator back in. Make sure to wiggle it back while you put it in there. And putting it in is far easier than putting it out. So we're just gonna rest that down here. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take the nut for this side bolt here and I'm gonna put it on. So I'm gonna screw it on first. So just make sure I don't cross thread when I put it back on. direction there we go so for the screw here the bottom the bolt here and the bolt on here they're made distinctly so the shorter ones are on the bottom and the longer ones on the top so I'll put the longer one first Just gonna screw it in, secure it. Don't wanna screw it in entirely just yet so we can put the bottom too. I don't think it's going in. You guys getting this? Oh. We're just twisted a bit. Okay. So if it doesn't work, just try to finagle it a bit. And after that, we should be able to secure them in. Uh, I don't think we can use the Milwaukee because it's currently on a 10 socket right now, but uh, we can switch it out. Once you put, get the bolts on, make sure to tighten them uh, with a ratchet wrench or any wrench and tighten it to the right torque. <laughs> but uh, we don't have to worry about that since we won't be driving this car anytime soon. Okay. Next step is I guess we can take put the hoses on. Uh, put this one on first. Put that away. Put this back. Get the clamp. On. I'm not sure. Okay, that's how far it goes. Got my glove caught in it. That's pretty good. Um, after that, I want to take our hose. We can 
unclamp it. I gotta hold on to this clamp to make sure we don't lose it. Then we can put this all under. Finagle it back on. And, oh. <laughs> but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the clamp on before you put it on. So, put it on. It shouldn't be tight enough to that I have to do it with pliers, but, you know. See, that's what I meant by uh, make sure you don't lose the clamp. But luckily, we didn't lose it, so gotta hold on to it when I loosen it okay pretty secure all right now we can jingle jingle it on I'm not sure how far it's supposed to go I'm not sure if it goes past that but either way you're going to take the plier clamp that and clamp it where the mark is because it's already made an imprint after that put the um power steering fluid reservoir back in you slide it in from the top and it should be secure now what am i missing i know there's something that's supposed to go okay so you want to put this part back on. I'm sure that goes without saying. It's already these two are already connected. And after that, I guess putting the belt on is a, another step, but we're not putting the on for this one. All right. So once you put the belt on, make sure that you got everything connected. Make sure everything's all right. You can get back into the front, turn it on. Uh, make sure everything sounds good. And then you can start driving. Um, let's see. I think everything's good. So I'm Aiman, and I just showed you how to replace, uh, actually, remove and install the alternator for 2003 to 2007 Honda Accord. And this video was sort of an opportunity for me to learn how to work on the, these cars and replace the alternator, and you know, make mistakes along the way. You know, learn, especially because I'm working on that car over there, and we're not gonna be using that car anytime soon. We're probably never gonna use it ever again. And for that car, I can just make mistakes no matter what. It's gonna, it's gonna be breaking anyway. So, thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe. And look at other videos on 99 especially the auto repair videos. And I'll see you next time. Signing out. Peace.